All right. So moving on to the last thing in the 1920s, we're going to look at heroes. Um, mix a hero, etc. First one I have to talk about is Charles Lindbergh. Charles Lindbergh is the um, pilot here with his plane, the Spirit of St. Louis, who completes the first tran uh, solo transatlantic flight. Um, later on, he'd be actually in World War II. He takes on a kind of controversial role that affects his family, but we'll we'll get to that later on. Now, Charles Lindbergh does inspire someone else, a female, uh, Amelia Earhart, to first copied the defeat, uh, the first uh, transatlantic flight, and then later on she tries some other things and mysteriously she vanished and there's been rumors that she, she crashed the Bermuda Triangle, there's a, there's a lot of things. But Amelia Earhart kind of figured that the female could do the same thing as the male um, and she's kind of, she pops up everywhere in the 1930s on Time Magazine and Life Magazine, so she's a pretty important figure. Now the next people we have are artists. Uh, now this first painting I'm going to show you is actually kind of funny. It's been uh, referenced in The Simpsons. It's been referenced in Family Guy with the stupid chicken. Um, it's even been referenced in that 70s show. Uh, the name of the picture is actually called Nighthawks. This is the original one here. Uh, and it was made by um, Edward Harper. Um, and so he actually painted, you know, what happens in cities and nights. And, and Nighthawks has become a uh, part of pop culture since then. The next person we have is uh, Thomas Hart Benton, and Thomas Hart Benton will paint uh, will paint murals, big iconic murals. This one is about the dilemma of the farmer, um, also about the dust bowl and different storms, things like that. Uh, and so he's going to use his medium to create that. The next artist is George O'Keefe, and she's famous for a painting called Cow Skull and Flowers. It has cow skull and flowers on it, um, but we call this regional. Uh, artistry. She was from the Southwest, and so she painted what she saw. She didn't make up something that, that she saw. She painted what she saw. Now, this is the first uh, pop culture sports icon, because even if you don't watch baseball, everybody knows this is Babe Ruth. Um, and so in the 1920s, he's the first one there, and there's been many other pop sports icons. Uh, the, the second biggest one comes to name is Michael Jordan. You don't have to watch basketball to understand who Jordan is. You've seen his shoes. You've seen this, that, and the other. You know, etc. Um, and there's there's other references there. Now, uh, last two people we need to talk about here. First one is Paul Robeson. Paul Robeson uh, kind of takes on the, the iconic thing of Morgan Freeman. And the reason I say that is because when there's a iconic african-american with a deep voice in any movie now it's usually morgan freeman he's played god he's played all these different roles um that role went to paul robeson if you needed a strong african-american lead in the 1920s uh, whether it be in theater radio and eventually movies paul robeson was your man and so there he is now the last person we have to talk about is oscar de priest oscar de priest was not a priest as the name might imply but rather a a senator, and he will be the first African American senator out, elected outside of the South. Remember that we have Hiram Revels elected in 1870 from the state of Mississippi. Um, so he is the first one elected outside of the South, and he's also the first elected uh, in many, many years in the 1900s. And he serves for many years there and portrays those things. Now, some objectives you have to accomplish here. List some secondary nicknames of the 1920s. We talked about that. Uh, explain how jazz was an instrument of racial tolerance. Describe the writing styles of Harlem Renaissance and Lost Generation. Describe why the 1920s was the golden age of Hollywood with Paul Robeson. And explain the importance of Oscar de Priest on politics. Now the last thing we're going to move into um, on the next thing is the Great Depression, causes of the Great Depression, and living in the Great Depression. And so 